When you're posting to social media, are you just looking for something that will fill the blank you know, publishing space of your Facebook page? Or do you actually have a strategy and a purpose to what you're posting? Does it even matter what you're posting? We'll answer that in this episode of the Video Social Podcast. Welcome back to the Video Social Podcast. Here you get answers and ideas on the latest video social and podcast strategies that will actually get you results. Through your hard work, consistency, and patience, you can see your business thrive in this digital marketing age as you become a marketing hero. My name is Scott, and I am so glad to have you here. Uh, We're going to keep this episode short and simple so that you can get back to creating content that is going to help your business and help attract the customers uh, that you want to have. So do you need to have a strategy when posting to social media or do you just need to be posting things to stay relevant? Well, I believe uh, through what we have witnessed and studied through our clients and through case studies is this. You need to have at least a written strategy of why you are using social media. If you don't understand why you're using social media, you're going to end up posting cat memes and just anything to get attention. It becomes all about the likes and and it becomes a numbers game. And numbers don't always translate to business. You know, you can have a very successful, successful in quotes, uh, page where you're getting lots of likes and engagement. But if no one's actually buying from your company, then you have a really good reputation, but you probably don't have, you're not communicating that you have a product or service that helps them. So, and if that's your goal, if your goal is just to entertain people, then great, you're doing your job. But you would need to identify that as your reason. So is your reason for posting to social media to connect with people, to entertain people, to promote your business, to grow your business, or to educate people? It could be a little bit of all of those, but I think you should have a primary and a secondary reason as to why you're on social media. For us, um, you know, we first of all want to educate. We want to give you marketing ideas and tips and uh, strategies that will help you become a marketing hero so you can see your business thrive in this digital marketing age. We say that in, in every intro of the podcast. Our secondary reason is to showcase our work. You know, even with this podcast, yes, the primary reason is to educate you, but the secondary reason is to show you what we're able to do, what we're able to produce, and and we want to be able to reproduce what we can do for you to see your business grow. That's how much we believe in what we do. We think that it works, and so we're doing it, and our clients see that, and they want to do it as well. So that's our approach. But if you want to educate people, then you need to go into question number two or point number two, create content that moves people in that direction. So if you want to educate people, if you want to be seen as a resource, as the page to go to when you need to learn something from, you know, your industry, create content that pushes people that way, create how to's, create tutorials, education videos, you know, tour, you know, whatever you need to do to push that narrative. You know, if you want to educate people in, you know, whatever field you're in, they probably don't care a whole lot about, you know, the time you guys had a golf outing and it has nothing to do with the business. You know, it's one thing to have a community post, but that still needs to tie into what your core mission is because everything you post as, as people are seeing what you're posting They are building in their mind who your company is, what values you hold, and then how you can help them if you can help them. So by pushing your content and creating content that moves people towards the reason you're on social media, you're going to connect with them and you're going to answer those questions and start building that brand profile in their mind. Which comes to point number three. Don't be something you're not. If, if you are not an over-the-top, loud, and obnoxious style of a, a speaker, don't be that in your video, and then whenever they come into the store, you're you know, this quiet, little, humble person. You know, and, and that's not anything against people. I mean, I have a loud personality, I guess. But don't be afraid to be you. 
don't try to be something you're not just because it's going to get you views or, you know, attention. Be true to who you are because if if you play fake, people are going to see through that and then again, that's going to build into their brand identity for who you are. Oh, they're not really authentic. They're just after views, they're after attention. People want to deal with authentic people. It's just in our nature. We want to know, like, and trust who we do business with. So by you posting authentic material and content, that's going to help bring people in because they're going to connect with you. So that's not to say you can't do like fun and, you know, uh, you know, crazy things because those kinds of things can really help you, but just let it be authentic to who you are or whoever the person is in that video. So like I said, I'm going to keep this short. So before you press publish on any of your content, I want you to ask, ask yourself these three questions. And if the answer isn't yes to all three of these, you may want to reconsider what you're posting. Number one, does this push people towards our goals? If we're looking to educate, does this educate? If our secondary thing is, does this show people what we're able to do? Is this a portfolio piece? Like for me, you know, does it do that? Does it accomplish what our goals are? Number two, does it reflect what our company actually believes? Because like I said, everything that you post is going to, uh, in the viewer's mind, be either something that you stand for or don't stand for. It's going to help build that brand identity And so if what you're posting doesn't match, it's going to send mixed signals and people are going to be confused and it could prevent people from doing business with you down the road. And number three, does it add value to who you're trying to connect with? If it's not going to add value to them, if it's not going to, you know, give them something that they can do something with, then why are you posting it? If you're just posting to say that we posted something, it's probably better that you don't post. It, if it's not building value for potential customers, what really is the purpose? Social media is a tool to connect and engage with people. And the reason people want to engage is because it adds value to them. If you're just posting for the sake of posting, then think about how you can tweak that post so that it does add some value for people so that it does represent what your company stands for and so that it does push them towards your goals we're going to pause uh right here for this week but if you enjoyed this podcast uh, or if you have any other tips please comment below consider subscribing to our podcast we would really appreciate that or subscribe to us on youtube thank you so much for sticking around and we will see you in the next episode